So in this video, we'll be starting with the ESP32 UWB board, which is an ESP32 based board with an ultra wide band chip on it. And this is the same technology that Apple uses to make their AirTag using which we can precisely locate any object or person on which the tag is attached with. So after learning about this technology and board, we may try to replicate Apple AirText. You never know. So in this video, I'll let you know how to make your first project on this UWP board using Arduino ID. So let's start with this video after a short ad. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software, which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software. And that feature is called as follow me mode. Now this is truly very useful feature, which I can't explain it in simple words. Rather, let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that the path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly? And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out. And if you find it interesting, you can purchase this software later on. So first of all, I purchased this board from an online website called as makerfabs.com. And yes, I purchased it. So this is not at all a sponsored product. So here I have selected the Vroom chip for this board. So a single board with a Vroom chip cost me around $40. So I purchased three of them and for the shipping, I used the premium shipping option, which was DHL and then the shipping cost cost me around $28. So after placing the order, I received it in seven working days at my home. And I also paid around 77 US dollars as import duty charges as this board was imported from China. So if I convert all the costing in Indian rupees, then all the three boards cost me around 17,500 rupees, including shipping and including import duty charges. Yes, I know that is very costly, but I was not having any option as this board was only available on this Maker Fabs website as of now while making this video. So in future, we may be able to see the local vendors importing these boards in bulk and we may get the retail units in a very cheap price. So that's the thing which you can expect in near future. But anyways, I'll be leaving the link of the Maker Fab website in the description of this video. So that was all about how to get this board. Now let's jump on to Arduino ID and let's see how to program it. Okay, so here is my Arduino ID. And now to get started with that UWB board, you need to install two things in your Arduino ID. Out of them, first is the ESP32 boards packages. And for that, you have to go to Arduino into preferences. Now click on this icon and here in the new line, you need to paste this link. Now don't worry, I'll be attaching the link uh, in the description of this video. So you can copy it and paste that here. After that, click on OK. Click on OK again. And now just go to tools into boards and now into boards manager now here just type esp32 and just click on the install button and this will install all the esp32 boards packages onto your arduino id after that you need to install the dw1000 library now this dw1000 is nothing but the built-in uh, uwb based chip on the esp32 uh, uwb board okay which is responsible for the ultra wide band uh, you know uh, it will be acting as an ultra wide band trans receiver basically okay so to download that library into go to sketch into include library into manage libraries now here just type dw1000 press enter and you just need to click on the install button and it will install this library onto your arduino ide okay it's successfully installed and now just click on the close button now after downloading the library just select the board as esp32 uh, do it take it v1 and now if you click on files into examples you will be able to see one new uh, example folder called as arduino dw1000 which should be somewhere here only so okay so here is dw1000 and here are all the basic example codes provided it just get started with this uwb port but if you upload any of this code it won't be uploaded it will throw a compiling error and the solution of that error is already provided in the official github repository of this uh, DW1000 library okay so if I take you to that uh, uh, github repository so yeah uh, here is the github repository and they say you need to comment down this particular line inside DW1000 uh, 
1000.c++ okay so i'll guide you how to do that so for that you need to go to uh, what you can say your file manager into documents into arduino then into libraries and here just search for a dw1000 library which is here so go inside that go inside the source folder and here just open this dw1000 uh, into some text editor i'll use the sublime text editor here okay now after that here you just need to type uh, let me just uh, go through that again you just need to type uh, dw1000 class begin you need to go inside this function so i will better find that function here okay so yeah here is that function and you just need to comment out which line let's just confirm you need to comment out the esp8266 line okay so what i'll do i'll comment this this and this so you need to comment down these three lines in the library after that just click on the save button it will save the c++ file and now if you compile the code it will be successfully compiled for your esp32 uwb board okay so yeah uh, here what we'll do is we'll be trying the basic example code so we have this basic sender and similarly we'll be having one more example code called as basic receiver let me open that as well okay so here is the basic receiver okay so we'll try to upload the sender and receiver code into the separate ESP UWB based code okay and let me show you what changes you need to make inside the code okay so fortunately you don't need to make any of the changes in any of the code okay so I'll upload this code in one of their board and this code in another board and let's try to test like what response we are getting inside the serial monitor let me upload it one by one okay so here on this board I have uploaded the code for the basic sender example and here on this board I uploaded the code for basic receive example okay so a sender is also termed as a tag in ultra wide band and a receiver is also termed as an anchor in ultra wide band okay so let us uh, see in the serial monitor first of all open the serial monitor for the tag okay so here as you can see we are getting the short address of the receiver okay and we are also getting the distance between two of the boards and we are also getting the receive signal strength indicator what we call as rssi okay similarly opening the serial monitor for the receiver side let us see what we are getting inside that okay so i'll open that and here also we are getting exactly same data like the address of the transmitter the range between them and the receiver power uh, signal strength okay so while using with two of the boards uh, it doesn't matter whether we move anchor or a tag okay we'll be getting the same response but what the general protocol of ultra wideband says that the anchor should be kept as steady and we need to move the tag okay so uh, while moving ahead with different different projects we'll be using the multiple anchor points we'll be keeping it steady and we'll all only move the tag and we're tracking the position of the tag but as we are doing two of them either we move this or this we are be getting the same results okay so now let's move ahead and see that uh, the range that we are getting to see in the serial monitor is the actual range or not let's just test it out okay so here we have drawn the line of one meter and on one of the end we have put the transmitter and on the other hand we have put the receiver okay so like theoretically we should get the distance of one meter between them right but when we see the serial monitor we get a surprising number of two meters okay so this totally reveals that these two boards uh, are totally inaccurate they are giving totally inaccurate reading okay but don't worry we can make the readings more accurate by solving this error and now let me show you the steps to solve the error to make it more accurate okay so now to make the distance more accurate we already have one page on the office official maker fabs website of uh, which is about a uh, uwb antenna delay calibrating okay so when i open this page uh, like first of all let me show you why this inaccuracy is happening in this particular code well it's just because of the antenna delay now what is the antenna delay see first of all there are two kind of thing okay so how this uh, uwb is able to calculate the distance but it is able to calculate the distance based upon time of flight now this time of flight is similar concept which we have used in the ultrasonic sensor as well in which one of the drum will transmit the data another drum will receive the data and based on the time taken by the transmission and receive uh, uh, reception we calculate the distance okay the same funda is used in ultra wideband as well okay so we used to calculate the time of flight but the error occurs inside the uwb chip where uh, so this is the chip and this is the antenna so the time taken by the signal to travel from the chip to antenna is calculated as tad tx 
and the time travel by uh, the signal from antenna to chip is calculated as 8 TADRX uh, okay so we are not you know uh, taking this time into consideration while calculating the distance and due to this in consideration or neglection of this time we are getting improper or we can say inaccurate readings okay but luckily one guy already did this a particular thing particular measurements it considered this antenna delay time as well and made a new library version using which we are getting like kind of accurate it's kind of accurate okay it's not 100% accurate but it is very very close to the actual readings okay so uh, for, for that first of all you to do is you first need to download the library which is mentioned here I will leave the link as well in the description okay and here you just need to click on the download zip file after downloading just open up that uh, zip file I'll go to my download sections and here is that file and here inside that file you just need to copy the source folder okay so you just need to copy all the files or other let's copy the source folder by default okay so i'll copy the source folder and now i'll go to documents into arduino into libraries into dw1000 and here i will replace this source folder okay i'll click on the replace button and now all the libraries are replaced by the new improved libraries okay now uh, still we are left with a couple of changes let's just go to the website and see what we are left with so after downloading what you need to do is you need to open the uwb setup tag example codes okay let us open the example code first of all i'll go to my arduino ide and uh, oh i'm sorry it's not available in the inside the example code it's available inside the uh, uh, folder that we have downloaded okay so we have to open this particular uh, example code for that I'll open my file manager and we'll go to the downloads folder into UWB window localization and here is the setup tag example code okay I'll open this example code and we'll go through the page so here place the uh, place the tag and anchor at a fixed distance okay here it is written as 8 meter but we'll be putting our tag and anchor at a distance of 1 meter okay and after that what we need to do is we need to uh, uh, open another example code and here inside this example code we need to make a couple of changes okay so let's just keep this uh, code open okay and let's just open another example code which was calibrate uh, which was uh, auto calibrate okay let's just open that example code so yeah where is that auto calibrate here is the auto calibrate i'll open this particular code okay okay great so yeah this is the code for the tag and this is for the uh, anchor but in the anchor code we need to make a couple of changes so let's just do the changes so here first of all you need to ma mention at what meter you are keeping the tag and anchor okay we need to calibrate so first we need to provide the perfect uh, distance here so i'm putting it at one meter distance so i'll type one here and that's the only change that you need to do right now now what i'll do i'll upload this example code into the sender part this example code into the receiver part so we'll put both the tags at a one meter distance and let's see what we do next okay so we uploaded the new uh, setup tag code on this particular board and the auto calibrate anchor code on this particular board and when i reset this particular board uh, as we can observe on the serial monitor we are getting a new parameter called as a delay and the final a delay we got as 16 621 and the meter we are getting is a range we are getting is 1.02 meter which is quite close to the actual one meter reading okay so now we need to provide this a delay that's the antenna delay parameter inside the code and then we'll be getting much accurate readings so let me show you where to enter this a delay and uh, make our code more accurate okay so first of all we'll copy this a delay code uh, I'll press ctrl c and then inside the uh, example codes that we have downloaded will be open the another example code which is called as setup anchor okay so i'll open this example code so here is the setup anchor code and now here what i'll do is i'll change this a delay parameter to the uh, delay that we got inside our serial monitor and that's the only change that we to do and uh, yeah here also need to provide the meter as one meter okay and now if i upload this code onto the anchor board we'll be getting the actual rating so okay, let's try to upload it and see the results okay so now i uploaded the new anchor code in this particular board and new tag code and that particular board and i have provided the proper a delay in the code and now if i look close to the serial monitor then as you can see i'm getting the quite close ratings to one meter okay so at one meter it's perfectly working fine and now let's test out on different test points whether we are getting the same results or not so i'll put this board at a 0.7 meter distance and as you can see in the serial monitor i'm getting the readings close to 0.7 meter okay let's put it to 0.5 meter and test it out okay so we are getting values very close to 0.5 meter similarly at 0.3 meter 
okay so we are getting the distance of 0.3 meters so now the new code with a proper antenna delay is perfectly working fine and we are getting the accurate results so that was all about testing the ESP32 UWB based boards and we were getting quite accurate readings that we are already tested. Okay, I'll put all the necessary links of the new libraries and the previous libraries as well down in the description of this video so you can definitely test it out once you get this board. Okay, now talk about the range then uh, we have tested up uh, about one meter of uh, range but that was only for the demo purpose but you can go up to three meter with a great like with a very great accuracy and and with a very uh, with a kind of a little less accuracy you can go up to 10 meters as well that we have tested inside our studio but one of the person on youtube also tested a range of more than 20 meters but that was a LOS a line of sight based project okay so this kind of different things you can try using this particular board okay it based upon your uh, application whether you're trying LOS or that you're trying in between obstacles the range will vary in different different conditions okay and yes as i said uh, apple uses the same technology so we we are also trying to prepare a very interesting project of kind of replicating our replicating the original Apple AirTag. Like we'll replicate a couple of features like precise location and also uh, playing the sound once the button is pressed. So we are trying to develop that particular project. So if you are interested in learning that project, well, do click the like button and also let me know in the comments about what kind of project do you think can be made using this ultra wide band technology. Do share your thoughts on this particular board and we'll definitely try to make some more interesting projects using this particular thing also if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe our channel as we usually come up with this kind of interesting projects maybe based on new sensors new development boards new iot kits or new development boards that are coming in the market okay and yeah that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next one explore learn share with me techie sms